While energy efficiency and renewable energy enthusiasts had an opportunity to learn about clean energy projects around central Minnesota, the Central Energy Resource Team held a clean energy event in Wadena to discuss ideas to help shape regional clean energy priorities for 2016. Our Chelsea Brown has that story. To identify and implement community-based clean energy projects, the Clean Energy Resource Teams, also known as CERTs, helps connect communities and individuals to find the right help. There's a lot of resources out there. There's a lot of really smart people that know a lot about clean energy and renewable energy um, projects and how to make them work and how to make them happen. So it, usually it's a matter of getting people connected. Two projects were presented that sparked the conversation. Out of the University of Minnesota Extension, a project called Deep Winter Greenhouses that uses synergy to produce food. Also, the Detroit Lake Public Utilities Project on a community solar garden which is a movement that continues spreading across the state of Minnesota. That was a big theme of what we talked about today, is that growing movement to um, expand community solar to be accessible to more and more people. But it's a community effort, as these groups and towns bounce ideas off of each other, supporting projects based around clean energy. One of our first projects was to change out the lights in our traffic light. That one change cut that bill for that particular meter in half. Overseeing a city of 1,242, she focuses on saving budget-wise and saving sustainable resources for future generations. She's often asked how a city of that size saves as many resources as it has with their energy projects. And my answer is, nobody told us we couldn't. It doesn't depend upon your size. It depends upon whether or not you're willing to reach out and try these things. In Wadena, Chelsea Brown, Lakeland News. For more information on connecting with organizations or energy project assistance, you can visit the website you see on your screen. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.